And then make a brothel be brave because my guest can't really express herself well in three. And for her to also say whatever she wants to say, you know, I would say me come more of English, say be a bit more conveying the message, you know, to the people that she wants to convey the message to. My name is Zaha Felix. I'm here with Rejoice. She happened or happens, I, I used to do those two words because I don't know whether they are still or they are not. She happened or happens to be the date of uh, one of the twins on date rush, Elisha or Elijah. Who oh, Elijah or Elijah? Elisha. So how do we know they are different? Who is Elijah who is Elijah? How do you get to know they are different? Mm. There is a difference. If you are closer to them, you will notice. So how, 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 how long were you close to them? Oh, the first day we met on the show, okay. and after when we went beyond the sense, behind the scenes, I noticed the, the difference, difference between both of them. Okay, so yeah. which of them were you, which of them was your date? Elisha. Elisha. Yes. Okay, please. so if you watch the interview, the, the Elisha guy was the one in camp, right? Yeah. He was yeah, the one yeah, in camp. Yeah, he was in camp. Oh, okay, okay. Um, he chose you? Yeah, he chose Did you leave your, your rash on? Yeah, I left it on. Okay, so why did you leave your rash on for him? Okay. The things they said in their profile and how they were composed, how they sounded, were things I was also looking out for in a man. Things so, like? Like hardworking. They sounded hardworking, focused, like matured guys. So, so after choosing him, did you realize that? Oh, not really. Which of them? The maturity, did, it, did he have it? <laughs> not really. He's not matured. He doesn't know how to handle issues. Oh, okay. He behaves like a kid, actually. Because no matured guy who wants to be in a relationship will do any of those things he does. W what does he do? <laughs> Acting anyhow. I'll be back after the break. When I come, I'll continue my conversation with Rejoice. Elisha and Elijah came here, and it is only right for me to get Rejoice for her, for her to also talk. I wanted Elisha and Rejoice together, but unfortunately, I, I didn't get both of them. So Elijah and Elijah, Elisha had to come. My name is Aaron Felix. Let's place a bet on this afternoon's game. And this evening's action, bro. And three more tomorrow. Okay, remember, when I slow down, when I take a break, and I stop chasing losses, and stick to my budget, that's when I'm going to have a lot more fun. So, let's place a bet on this afternoon's game. Bet responsibly. Regulated by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. No under 18. Terms and conditions apply. From the students of Zion Felix TV, I'm still here with Rejoice. What is the full name? Rejoice Aquincy. Okay. okay, tell me something about yourself. Okay. I'm a nurse. A graduate nurse, actually. Okay. And... Um, I'm into cosmetics also. Okay. I work in a spa as a tattoo. Mm. So that is basically me. Are you a practicing nurse? No. Just by certificate? Yes. Why not practicing? Mm, I'm waiting to do my NSS. Oh, national service? Yeah. Okay, okay. When did you graduate? Last year. Okay, so you're, you're supposed to do this year? Yes. So the so postings hasn't come all? Not yet. Oh, okay. okay. So where do, you, where do you want to be posted to? Mm. <laughs> Maybe Ridge Hospital. Ridge Hospital. Yeah, for Why? my NSS. Why there? I don't know. It's a nice place to be. Uh, yeah. So, and the hospital is nice and all that. But they say you, you nurses don't really treat the patients well. <laughs> the public also have things they think about us. Mm. But when you are in the profession, you notice it's all misconceptions. Mm. Yeah. So you guys have time for your patient? Yeah, we have You say you don't know how to talk? You know, the patient is not our patient. We are taking care of your relative. So together as a team, we take care of whoever is sick. Okay. You understand? So the patient is not supposed to be my entire responsibility. But so as you a are, relative... You are almost all the time with the patient. I mean, I come and I'm giving like an hour or two to be with the so person. So we take care of them when you are not around. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's put that one aside. Um, are you married? No, no. Have you been married before? No, please. Do you have a child? No. Um, when did you go on date rush? Mm, this recent season, season six. W which month? Mm, February. February. Yes. I mean, when was the shoot? Same month. No, 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 no. It was like in November. Okay, November last year. Yeah. November, December last year. Mm -hmm, somewhere. Were you I single really... at that time? Very single. Okay, for how long had you been, had you been single? I've been single for like three years since I was in nursing school. I never had a boyfriend. Why? Mm, I'm not really a fan of being in relationships too. 
I choose to be to myself. Mm. Yeah. So how do you have sex? How do I have yeah. sex? <sighs> okay, sex is everywhere. If you want to have sex, you can. If you want to, okay. you will. If you don't want to, you can still stay without. Okay. So if you want to, you do? If I want to, fine. So if I don't want to. So that three-year period you did? Definitely. Not with your boyfriend? No. With who? <laughs> different, different people? Not different people. I'm a health worker. My health matters to me a lot, and I'm not sure I would go around just messing up. No. So, so I'm careful. So you, so you had sex with somebody who wasn't your boyfriend? Not like he wasn't my boyfriend. It's like, um, you know that kind of I thing. I don't know. <laughs> you should know now. You know you guys. I don't know. So tell me. I can't explain this one. <laughs> I'm not, not, I'm, you're not talking to Jess only me. I mean, there's I know, so, so many but, people watching us. Mm, I know, but... Mm, I don't know what so to as do. So, you like us, you don't like I like as he likes you. As See you that like. kind of relationship we are with someone. You guys know that you are together or you are not together, that kind of thing. So, so it wasn't like a relationship. So, if you me. catch feelings and anything happens, fine. You understand. But it's not like something you would continue to do because you know. How many guys did you have that thing with? I was having only one close friend. So, okay. So like, but he wasn't a student, he was like someone, my party. Okay. Like, yeah. So, for that three years, it was just one party. Mm. Okay. But he traveled when I was in first year. So that was the end for me. What pushed you to go to the trash? So I felt I was I was getting lonely enough. I needed to be in a relationship with someone. I needed someone I can talk to sometimes. Someone I could share things with. So I felt um, it was necessary. I get to find somebody. Mm. Mm. It wasn't for the fame. No. Okay. What fame? I mean, if you come on TV, I mean, how many times did you appear on TV? Including my reunion, that's three times. Yeah, so I mean, appear on TV three times. I mean, I mean, just even once, people did even walk up in movies and they are spotted. Hey, even, how, even just social media postings. It's, hey, I saw you on the Ivory mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, that's true. people go there for fame. And people have voiced out that they went there for fame, I'm sure okay. you know. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I've heard from people. Too. Yeah, yeah. So you didn't go for fame? Not for the fame. Okay. Yeah. Went for love? Yeah, I went to try. If I get someone that I really want and the person is down for it, fine. That is the major reason I went. And you got love? And I got someone. You got someone? Yeah, I met someone. <laughs> you, didn't, you, didn't, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't find love? No. No. Explain that to me. I. I didn't find love in the sense that um, after he chose me, he asked me if I'm here for the fame, if I'm here for fun, if I'm here to be known or anything like that. So I told him, I've been single for long and I want to be in a relationship. So if he's ready, we can take it up from there. He was like, oh, okay. But I told him, one thing I hate is people who lie. So I like to do things in order. And I also like to take my time when it comes to relationship. So I told him that he was like, okay. And we exchanged contact and I left. I went to one of the ladies' house to sleep. So later, around 12 a.m. that same day, he texted me that he has missed me. So I showed it to the, my friend. I was like, hey, already. You just met me today, you've missed me, okay. So I called him and we spoke, he slept. So I was supposed to leave to write my practical exams that like the next day immediate next day. So he was like, he wanted to see me because if I leave, I'm going to come back in a month's time. So he wants the four of us, me, his brother, Benedicta and myself to Who go. Who was Benedicta? Elijah's date. Okay. He wanted the four of us to go to Vienna City. That, the, the following day? Yeah. When he had practicals? No, that was Sunday. The following day was like Sunday and Monday I had to be in school okay, for my okay. practical exams. So. I told him I'll be leaving the next day. He said, no, I shouldn't leave that next day. I should leave Monday in the morning. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to see him in like a month. month yeah. So someone I just met, I, I feel it's best to create something before you leave. So later in the night, I realized that I called Benedicta to ask if there's going to be a date like that. She said, no, she doesn't know anything about it. So what's up? I just had to cover up and act like, oh, nothing is wrong and this and this. So I met him alone and we went to the beach. When we went to the beach, he proposed. He was like, he's serious. He really liked me. He wants to be in a relationship. And I told him, um, he's doing so many things at a time. He should calm down because this is a show. I don't really know you. 
I don't know the reason why you are here. It's just been two days. You can't be kneeling here at the beach and proposing to me. With a ring? Not with a ring, like with words, with like so affectionate for me to feel he is really on his knees and all that. So I was like, oh no, you are a nice person. These few hours we spent at the beach shows, you could be a nice person. But I can't conclude. I'm a very suspicious and doubtful person. So I can't conclude and say, okay, let's be in a relationship. So he should take his time. That was what happened. Mm. And fast forward. Am I telling you everything? Yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> so fast forward, I went to school. And when we How did you feel when you, when you told him those things? I mean, somebody who... Oh. Who, I mean, who has confessed his love to you, and then, I mean, for the, for the want of better words, let me say, you, you bounced him. Mm. You didn't accept the proposal now. Mm. So you bounced him. How was the feeling for him? Oh, he was feeling very bad. Like, he became some kind of way. So I had to, he walked away to, like, the seashore. So I had to walk to him and say, no, I don't mean that I'm not going to use you for anything or I'll dump you or something. I'm trying to tell you, say, we have to take things on a low. You understand so i tried to explain to him and he was okay so later that day he went to drop me in the house and zion <laughs> i feel that guy has i don't know what he's really up to so i feel saying the truth is the best when we we're going to the beach that day i realized he wasn't having enough money so he brought drink from the house to the beach so the only thing he bought there was coke and sausage too for me and i ate one and i told him i'm not a fan of drinking drinking coke is my favorite so i took the coke and the sausage that was so when we we're going back the way he was looking you know there's a way a man looks when he doesn't have money like so i knew the bolts and everything was going to so i told him i had money on my phone so we should pay the boat guy so we used my momo to pay the boat guy and that was all i didn't see him i went to school when i went to school he calls he'll be like Oh, so I said, I'm having something to do in the hospital. This practical thing is stressful. So when I wake up in the morning, I go to the skills lab. The time I'll come back, sometimes I don't eat. So I'll try to explain to him. He said, okay, if anything, I should keep him updated. I said, okay, but you know, it's not every day that you can keep a, a man updated about your things. So I try. When I wake up, he was getting pissed. He gets angry very easily. He was getting pissed and all that. So I try to call him sometimes, like early in the morning before I leave hostel, I call him and be like, oh, I'm leaving. I'm going to um, skills lab. I'll come back this time. So if you don't hear from me, this and this. So it got to some time. I realized that when he calls, you know, I lost my phone before we met. So I was using a young phone, actually. When he calls me, <laughs> the only thing that he would say, maybe, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, this, I need a loan. How much? Then maybe he'll mention an outrageous amount. Like? Maybe 25 million, something, something. 2,500. Like plenty, plenty money that he'll just mention. I'll be like, ah, but you know I can't afford this kind of money. When he met me, he actually asked me, am I practicing this? So, like, behind the stage, he asked. So as a smart lady, I was like, no, this guy is here for something else. Something else like money? I don't know. Maybe he feels, how can you ask me if I'm a practicing nurse? Immediately, right, he wants to know you, you don't know. He wants to know me. That's not the best thing to know. Asking me about my, my work is like, it gives so many impressions. Probably he wants you. to know if you're a dependent lady that you'll be demanding cash from her. From him? Uh, from him, sorry, yeah. From him. De okay, okay, if that's his reason. Maybe I mean, I mean, some ladies are too dependent on, the, on, the, on their guys. No. Maybe he's had bad experience in the past that he doesn't want to pump a lot of cash into a woman. Okay, if that's his reason, fine. But I don't know his reason. He asked me. So I, I just told him, I'm not someone that can give you this amount of money. And How many times did he demand for money? He's a fan of that so many times. Yeah, so like, yeah. And maybe he'll call and be like, oh, uh, I need money to bet. Then I'll be like, I should say, be like, send, RJ, send me 50 CDs to bed. Then I'll be like, ah, by myself, I'm trying to get money together to get a phone. Then he'll say, no, give me the 50 CDs. If he wins, he buy the phone. You understand that yeah. kind of trap. Then he'll say that. I'll just be like, me, I don't like to argue because this is a TV show and anything can happen. So when he says the thing like that, I'll just try and then we move on. 
Then another time, he will call. He'll be like, he wants to eat KFC. Oh, really? <laughs> he'll say those things. He wants to eat KFC. Then I'll ask him, how much is KFC that we are talking about? Then which type do you want? Like, which of them do you want to buy? Then he'll tell me the price. Okay, don't worry, I'll give you the money. And I know I'll not give him. Oh, why? Why? Because I've not... He's you know, on dates. Ladies, you guys are getting to know yourself. You guys are getting to like be in a relationship. And you know, ladies are very demanding. Yeah. And everybody will expect me to be demanding. Yeah. So I am the lady. I've not asked you for anything. So why are you trying to... So you never gave him money? I gave him money sometimes. How much in total? I can't mention. But that day he was very fortunate. My friend was the one that was like, give him. Maybe he stranded. He called. He was like, I need this amount or this amount, if you have sent to me. So my friend was like, ah, but this is your date. What is wrong with him? Does he think you are a DB or something? How does he see you? What did you tell him? Like, she was also confused. My roommate was confused. Was like, no, what did you tell this guy that makes him feel so comfortable? Always trying to ask you for something. What did you tell him? You know, I was, on, I was using a yam. So when he calls, I don't feel comfortable putting the yam phone on my ear so it's on loudspeaker. So when my friends are in the room, they, they listen to the convo. Then they'll that, be laughing at him. They'll be laughing at me. Okay. Be like, look at you. So this is the only guy on the trash that you got. Like, what came over you? Why did you even choose him? And what impression did they give him for him to be asking for money from you always? I don't know. Because he's not... I didn't tell him so many things. I'm not that kind of person that talks plenty. Like, you want to talk, you want to talk. No, 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 no. I'm very confidential. So what, looking at things, was it working for you for the, for the, for the first two months? after he chose you? Things working between both of The two of you, yeah. Was it working? Okay, so at the beach that day, after he met me, he said some things that really turned me off because he started telling me about his dad and his mom, things that were supposed to be kept at home. He was telling me. So I was like, no. I'm not someone that likes to talk plenty like this. So if even I tell this guy something that is really personal to me, it's going to be out there. So he gave me that impression, like, without knowing. But he, what did you want you guys to, to be talking about? I mean, you guys are getting to know each other, so you have to tell something about each him, other, himself. But, yeah, but there are some things that, no, meeting you right now, there are some things in your home that you can't just tell me straight. There are basic things you can tell me. Oh, this is my mom's name. She's from here. I have sisters. I have brothers. We live here. I schooled here. Those are basics. You don't talk too much when you meet somebody. Because... Sometimes people are not people. You might meet someone, you feel this person is uh, mature enough to confine him, but later the person will fall your hand. That's yeah. true. Yeah, so... So I, I, at what point did you realize that things were falling apart? Okay, so it got some time. He, I wasn't giving him money, giving him money and those things. When he asked KFC, money for bets, when he did all those things, he saw that, okay, maybe this lady is not a jackpot, you understand? So it got some time when I call him, he doesn't pick. For like two weeks, I was in school calling him, he wasn't picking up. So I called him. What you had? Calling him and he wasn't picking yeah. up. No, I was confused. I wasn't hurt. I was confused like, ah, what happened? Why are you not picking my calls? He wasn't saying anything. I'll tell you, no reply. And I called his brother to tell him this is what is happening and all that. Then his brother said, okay, he's going to talk to you. I said, fine. So he called. He was like, he's sorry. He has been busy. And I said, everybody's busy. You are not busier than I am. But I still make time. So don't tell me you are busy. He was apologizing, apologizing, apologizing. And that was it. Till I came back to Accra. So when I came back to Accra, I got a phone. He didn't know about it. So later, I don't know, he was like, oh, you are even online. He didn't tell me about it. So I gave him my WhatsApp number. Because the number he has been calling is not WhatsApp. I gave him my WhatsApp number that he should send a test. So we started testing. You came to Accra. You didn't inform me and those things. You know, when I said on TV that I was using a young phone and he was asking me money, I didn't really mean say he should buy a phone for me. There's a way a man can be thoughtful that you would know this guy. Even this is things that even married couple do in their relationship to sustain it. Because maybe a man of the house, you don't have money to afford something for your wife and she needs it. You know, as a thoughtful man, the best thing you can do is you be like, oh, babe, I know you need this thing. If I had the money, I would have helped you get it. Or, you know, that is 
a man who is thoughtful, that is someone you feel like, oh, even if he gets it, he's going to give me. But he has never. Even if he goes and I'm like, shit, me, ask me, I'm hot, so I need money to get phone. That's the end. He won't say anything like, not because I want you to buy, I want you to be matured enough. I want you to speak and I'll feel like, oh, okay, I've really met someone, not just a kid. So when I got the phone, I didn't feel like it was necessary letting him know. So fast forward, um, the test, he was complaining, I didn't, whatever, I didn't let him know and all that. And um, I woke up one day to see his call in the morning. So I tested him, I was like, you called me. I don't know if it is really important, but I don't have a time to call you back. So if you really want to talk to me, you can call back. So he came on and I was like, hey, you don't respect. How dare you talk to me like this? I was like, no, I'm just telling you, we can test here. So if you want to talk about it, you should call back. I'm not trying to tell you, say, like the way he took it, you understand? So he called back, just like he's checking up on me. I said, it's been a long time I heard from you. Why are you- After he came to Accra? Yeah, it's been a long time, we don't talk, so. Now, when he came to Accra, you weren't talking? No, we weren't talking. He didn't even know I was in Accra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he didn't know I was in Accra. So, it's, it, it was time for us to go and shoot our date. Like two days to the, the day, the D day for the shoot. My friend was like, my friend that was in my hostel, we all moved to Accra. Okay. Like, we came back home. So she was like, that your date doesn't have anything to offer you. So as you are planning to go and cover up for him, you better go and say the truth. That boy, if you ask him anything, he won't give you. He doesn't have it. I was like, no, you don't conclude on somebody like this. At least let me get the chance to know him. So she took my phone and she typed to him that I need hundreds of this for something. The and guy, the lady typed. My friend. You didn't demand it. Mm -mm. But did you need it? I didn't need it. But, but it was just a test. Like testing the guy. Maybe something like that. She wanted, maybe she was, she never liked him. My friends never liked him. So it's like she wanted to confirm something that um, and this guy that I chose is a mistake. So when she typed, he came to say he's going to ask his twin brother. He came Hold on, I'll be back. 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 I'll have you wondered why you never seem to have enough money? You work hard, so it is not for a lack of effort. I'll tell you a secret. It is because you are an employee. You work for someone else. And as an employee, you will never make enough. This is how the system has been built all over the world. And your complaints, fortunately, will not change it. Your only solution is to become a business owner too. This is why I present to you the opportunity to run your own online business. Our online business is easy to run because 95% of the work has already been done for you. This is why thousands of people have been able to use our system to generate extra income in their spare times from the comfort of their bedrooms. If you can understand this message, then this opportunity is for you because we have coaches and mentors who will hold your hand and guide you through every step of your journey towards your financial freedom. If you desire change and want to know more, reach out to us on the website and WhatsApp number you see on your screen and we will be happy to answer all your questions. Welcome back. Many a rejoice and our night she was talking about a year in some SC on a Elisha relationship more the way on a date rush season six. Elisha Elijah came here to talk. Elijah said it, his things and rejoice is also here to also say Side of the story. So you're talking about the fact that your friend used your phone yeah. to text my Elisha. My friend text Elisha that message and he said he was going to ask his brother and he'll get back. So when he got back, he was like, he's not having the money. So he's working on his e tree. Some people came to fix something. Mason came for all the money and all that. And I was like, okay, fine. So the next day was our date. And I went there with my friends, two girls. Was the, was the other friend part, the, the, the schoolmates? Yeah, okay. she was part. So we went for the day show. When I went, I realized he was sitting like he was sick. So I went to sit on his laps. And we started talking. I started talking to the rest of the ladies. But what I did was that I didn't introduce my friends to any of them. I made sure they were sitting somewhere far away from them. Because already I knew they didn't like this guy in question. So there was no need going to light up any conversation or anything. So my friends were far apart. And I asked him what's wrong with him. He was like, he was diagnosed of pneumonia, he told you. So I asked if the doctor told him um, what caused that. Because I felt 
<laughs> okay, so I asked him if the doctor said, told him what caused this, he said yes. And he was giving medication. I took the medicine, I saw antibiotics. I was like, okay, so this is what you need to take. You need to take care of yourself, your environment and all that. And it can be transmitted. I was trying to educate him there and there. That it can be transmitted. So it's good you are even in no smarts and all that because, mm -hmm. so I told him all that and our lady producer came. I was like, Elisha, what is wrong with you? He said he's sick. I said, Aunt Papa, he's sick. Oh. And we're even acting as, as if nothing happened. Like, I was cool with him, as if we've been talking and all that. So he, they asked him what he wanted. He said, Look, was it? So his brother went out to go and get a look was it for him. When his brother went out, he asked me, Why is it that he said he wanted look was it? And I allowed his brother to go and buy for him. You understand? So I just shook my head. I was like, this guy is just someone who needs favors. I don't know what he really needs. He always wants a lady doing things for him or what. So I just kept quiet. I didn't mind him and I, I was cool. So later, the two girls that I came there with, I went with Too Short to go and do video for him to promote his new song. So I went to Too Short in his car. We were doing the video there. Not knowing, he took his earring to my friends who were seated far away to help him fix it. So when I go back, he even got angry that why did I go to too short car? Is it because he's not having a car? I said, ah, ah, it hasn't gotten there. He needs me to do something for him. And that was what I went to do. And he was like, he, uh, he went to my friend to help him fix his hearing. I said, oh, did she do it? He said, yes. I said, okay, fine. So later, when it was time for us to go and shoot, he came to tell me, eh, when we go, don't tell, uh, don't like, I shouldn't say it out there that we are in a relationship. Then I was like, you and who in relationship? We are not in a relationship. I thought you told me at the beach you like me. I said, no. Who, you and who? I'm not dating you. We are getting to know each other. So why are you trying to tell me we shouldn't go out there? It's too early to tell people we are in a relationship. There's no need because we are not in a relationship. If that is what's in your head, I want to rectify it right now that we are he not. He said you shouldn't tell people that you are in a relationship. So but and you are even already not going to say that. Yes, because okay. I, 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 didn't, I didn't remember accepting any proposal or anything from you when you told me you liked me, you understand? Okay. So I told him. So we went to shoot. And even if you watch our date show, you can see there was no, it was just messed up. Everything was just but uh, some kind of way. But we managed it. Later, those my two friends, one of them is a twin. So her other twin closed from work and came to join us. So now my friends were three there. When the other twin came to join, she called the one that just came to come. He called the one that just came to come. When the girl came, I was seated beside him. When he wanted to call the girl, I told him that Elisha, don't call these people. <laughs> they are my friends, so don't call her to come. He didn't listen to me, then he called the girl to come. When the girl came, he was like, oh, come and sit. What's your name? The girl mentioned her name. Come and see. The girl said she won't sit. So she held the lady's hand, trying to insist that she should, she should, should sit. Uh -huh, she should sit. So her friend came, one of the girls came, to be like, no, bro. The girl is telling you she doesn't. You know that kind of, already there's issues. They are having low-key issues that you are not aware about. So she came to warn him that, no, the girl said she won't sit. So why are you holding her hand? Why are you insisting? That kind of thing. And they left. When they left, I came to sit beside him and said, See, I told you. I told you. You don't you. like you, but you don't know. I, to I couldn't even tell him that these yeah. people don't like you. So, you that lead, they don't like you. Uh huh, they don't like you. These are a group of enemies that have come there that if you mess up, they will fight you. You understand? So, like, I, I just said, I was like, I told you not to call this girl. Have you seen? If you respected me enough as someone you feel you like or your dates, you would. Those are my friends, and I'm telling you not to invite them. So, why did you call them? That was all I said. And I don't know why he came to tell you that when my friend left, I was telling him yeah, he should shut the fuck up and those kind of things. That's a lie. I never said anything like that to him. People were there. He has recruited so many of the girls to be in his favor. So they can boldly come out to say the truth. You understand? I didn't say anything to him like, I didn't, I'm not a fan of using those words. When I speak, if something surprises me, the worst I can do is maybe really wow, like that kind of thing, but to, what the fuck and those things. I don't use those words. I don't use those words. So he said it on TV that that day my friends came. You know when someone is trying to lie, he'll be suffering to gather words. And she came with her friends. And she came with her friends. And she came with her friends. I came with my friends and what? You insisted the girl should see. She said no. And another person came in. I wasn't even talking. No. 
I just told you that you didn't listen to me. I want you not to call this girl. So fast forward, when they left that day, I called him, he didn't pick. So I called his brother. Like, oh, how is he? he is he fine? The next day, too, I called to check up on him. I was like, those antibiotics, you don't have to break it. You have to take it till the complete dose because that is how it is taken. Even if you recover or you feel you are better, you have to finish it up. I was trying to educate him on the medication and all that. They said, okay, where is he? I'll pass by the e tree to see the place because I don't know that place. I called him. He said, he's not around. Another day, I told him, I'm on my way to a brie. So if I get to Adenta, I can pass by with my friend like another friend so that i would see the place and see you since you are not fine he said no he's going for a commercial shoot with his brother and that was it i've not seen him again till coming on reunion we don't talk we don't test we don't not say nothing we don't talk we don't test since after checking up on him and those things that's all we don't test we don't talk nothing before i came to the reunion and that thing happened what happened Mm, so, um, first of all, um, I'd like to apologize to Anita and Giovanni. And TV3. And also TV3 and the audience. For, for, for everything that happened because he got me pissed up. He, he got me pissed because imagine I was seated here watching someone telling lies and you don't have that opportunity to express yourself. I was just fuming. I was just getting angry. So when they finally gave me the opportunity, I was pissed. So I just screamed, screamed, and they sacked us. You understand? So I'm sorry for that. It was, everything was out of anger. So when we got on the show, they asked them how things were. I didn't even know other girls were in his DM. And I didn't even know he asked other girls to for money. Yeah. Because that day, one girl showed me Momo alert that he sent to. Who? A girl Which on girl? the show. <laughs> A girl on the show. I mean, Chacha, was, I think Chacha, Chacha said that she, okay. she demanded money from Aside Chacha, Laurentia also sent money too. Oh, okay. So Laurentia showed me the, the Momo transaction. I also showed mine to, to her. I was like, oh, so it's not only me that he asks for money. He asks everybody for money. And you go about telling people you own an e tree. I'm not saying you don't own an e tree. There's a difference between owning something and people patronizing you. You can own it and people would not even patronize. So it's better you calm down so that other people will try to lift what you are doing up. You don't go around saying you own an e-tree. Maybe in a day you sell to only 10 people. You understand? So you don't make enough money. You need support. But he was all around saying he owns an e-tree of something, something amount. It wasn't necessary. He said his, his mother didn't like him choosing you. My father too didn't like him. The day I chose him, my father called me. I said, rejoice. I hope you are not getting serious with this guy because he has nothing to offer you. Mm. And I don't. Are you saying it because his mother said that, or he said his mother said that? No, my father told me that, and I don't expect your mother to to like me. You why? understand? <laughs> I don't expect your mother to like me. You know why? Because you are living with your mother in the house, and the girl in question. I've left home for about a decade. I've not been home. Even as I'm here, I've not seen my sister, my direct sister in about two years, my father in about one year. Why? And they all live in Ghana. <laughs> I've not seen them in years. I'm just outside struggling like a hustler girl. So I don't expect your parents to like me. Like, even if they like me, what? Your, his brother also says, I mean, you were no, no, no. He even told him that you were no, 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 no for him. You know, he advised twins have to a, pick you. Mm, yeah. Twins have a way of behaving. Don't mind him. They went to plan all those things. Don't mind Elijah. You know he came to say I was a bad choice. He told you on the, your show that yeah. I'm a bad choice. It's not even advisable to use that word. When you know you and your data are also faking your relationship. Because, the, okay, another thing happened. After our date show, uh, Elijah call, Elisha called me, my date, called me that. There's something he wants to tell me. He's having a girlfriend. Elisha? Yes. Date. My date called me that he's having a girlfriend. And that is the girl that has been sponsoring him and taking care of him since. And they have so many things together. And also, his uncles and his aunties are complaining that why did he go on the show? So he wants me to go and explain to them that we are not in a relationship. Then I was like, really? You have the nerves to come and say this? And you think I would accept? Where were those people? You didn't consider them when you were kneeling at the beach to propose. 
you knew you had a girlfriend, you could have been sincere enough to tell me, oh, rejoice, I have a girlfriend. So maybe I came for the fame or I came for the trend or anything. But you didn't do anything. You didn't tell me anything like that just to call me today. So he should just hang up the call. I'm not going to do it. He was insisting. So I told him to give me a few minutes. I'll call him back. So I called Benedicta, his brother's date. So I called her. I was like, this was what my date called to ask me. Then she now said, she and, his, and her date, one of them is all, also already in a relationship. Who? Like who? Elijah and Benedicta. Mm -hmm. One of them is also in a relationship already. So they are also just acting out for the camera. You understand? That's why you feel they are cool. Meaning they've agreed that. So you can't come So either Benet or Elijah is in a relationship? I know who is in a relationship, ju but just that I can't tell you here. Okay. Okay. So one of them is in a relationship. So they are just trying to fake it and it will be looking all luxurious and glamorous for, for as if Dubai. I am the bad person. I don't know what they are actually acting up for. So that it will look like I am the bad one. Because when I called Benedicta that day, I told her that, this was what my date said. She told me I shouldn't talk to any girl or any family member because the family saw him on TV. So he should go and explain. He knew his family would watch. Benedicta told me this way too. He knew his family would watch. So he should go and clean up his mess and explain to the girlfriend and the rest of the people. I was like, okay, but your date is also cool. I told her your date is cool and mine just doesn't know how to talk. She, he talks anyhow. So that was it. Maybe I bet also. Hey, okay. Hey, no grace gift. Her bag, no entry. You could be some person. If you're a full washing, no gift. None of it. No grace gift. Her bag, no no entry. Some of them you have got here. You see what you rent. Men lose your life. Now we're brand new. We're casting more. We want to brand new. Better. What of them? Brand new. See them. If you're a Mami misa, a dear pa ne wasa grace gift her back then eke wa enu tu wusha yense chinchin a honey akwada pa. Ani akwada mo bekro. Doctor Grace Bobby wa grace gift her back then eke. Se wu isa be kwata acha cha eni humwa dadi biya obesa. Malaria, hypertension, ulcer, stroke, oba na bema wo hiya wo bema oto puna da. Chese dadi be eni wo ti misa. Yeah eni wo be pia du achimota. Petrolo me ya. Grace gift her back then eke. One phone number is 0246 518 003 and 0244 126 123. Grace is here, I'm never just now. I say, um, you know, because I know the two of them say you're, you're very rude. Yeah, are I you rude? That. I'm not that kind of person, it depends. It you depends. Know? So, when at times you, you are rude, at times you are not rude. It depends on the situation, okay. you know. When you are in this part of the world and you are a lady who can stand for yourself when maybe someone tries to do something to you or say something or you are bold enough and confident people feel you are rude but when someone is timid they claim the person is respectful when you offend me and i'm bold enough to tell you hey babe what you did i don't like it don't try it next time that is not rudeness that is trying to alert you that this thing if you try next time i'm going to mess you up you understand i'm not a rude person i've never ever been rude to elisha if he can be sincere enough to tell you I've never been rude to him or maybe, no, no, no. no. How has life been after the reunion between you guys? It has been so many things because my friends were really feeling bad. So many people called me, they knew it would get to me. So they called me, they were like, no, this guy lied. So sorry, sorry, maybe we shouldn't have gone to that date show with you. Why was he lying? What was his reason? I said, I don't know. It was so many things and having to go on Instagram, people sent me so many messages. Do you think Anita is your mate? Why did you scream? Like, you don't respect, you are this, you are this, you are that. Why on national TV you were doing this and this? It was a whole lot of things. So I wasn't really active on Instagram. Mm. Mm. I wasn't really active. It was Have you talked to him after the reunion? Oh, I woke up the next day and saw his sent messages, uh -huh. but he deleted all. So you didn't get the chance to read them? Mm -mm. He deleted And you didn't ask? Oh, no. For what? Have you blocked him? No, no, no. Does he call you? No, no, no. You don't call him? Mm -mm. You don't text him? Mm -mm. So who are, who are you now, the two of you? What are you doing? Status viewers. OK. Status <laughs> <laughs> viewers association. Mm. So the relationship is there. I am a Oh, no. Did, did you ever love him? No, no, no. Like him? Yeah. But still like, like him? Still? No, he lies. Every liar can do anything to you. Why would you lie? 
If this is the situation, say it. If it wouldn't be in your favor, you would be advised. So why would you try to sabotage someone else, someone you claim you want to, just for, for the fame of it or for what? Mm. Mm. To say the, the relationship with the, it is... Oh, they have never been a relationship and they won't be. If no. they would ever... I didn't come on the show to make enemies for myself. You understand? So that is one of the things that is really worrying me. Maybe at the end of coming for this fun thing, then you end up creating enemies. I didn't so for the best couple there, you guys are out? Oh, oh, oh. Crap. No Dubai for you guys? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, 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 sorry, 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 mm -mm. sorry, sorry. Your yeah, social media handles. Okay. Rejoice underscore day trash six. Okay. And also my business page, RJ's Glow. Okay. RJ. Advice, Elisha. Oh, Elisha. One thing I can tell you is if you can, if you can please mm, drop those lies about me. I'm begging you. My family is watching. My friends are watching. Anywhere you pass, people are watching. They, I have lovers out there that would like to get to know me or something. But those lies you go around telling, it's really bad if you can change. Which that lie? Would, everything he says was a lie. Like, everything. You didn't tell, when you came on the reunion, he didn't even tell everybody that, oh, I was dating, I just came to lie to this girl. Why you, you called me to tell me to talk to your girlfriend? But you still came to lie. You understand that kind of thing. So the lies, I beg him about it. Him and his brother should stop. His brother and Benedicta are also acting up. This one I've snitched and I don't care. They are also acting up because one of them is in a relationship. So his brother cannot come and sit here and call me a, a what, what, bad choice. No, I'm not a bad choice. Bene and Elijah, I need you. Oh, no, Elijah has been here. So Bene, Bene, come let's talk. My name is Arifles. Thank you very much for coming. Rejoice. Okay, thank you. Thank you also for watching me. This is Bye-bye. E pasa se atwa ono di afi ista idi oh yes strong good e e betu mi nyasa asi mi bigo estate land at adishie city crampan a oben kaf university in a dodo aso so oben government hospital so full plus seventy by hundred first no ye sixteen thousand se se de wa todo about ten thousand Ghana cedis in a half plot fifty by seventy no ye eight thousand cedis in a wa about five thousand five hundred Ghana cedis dodo a full plot seventy by hundred first no ye thirty thousand cedis se se de wa todo about twenty two thousand Ghana cedis half plot to sweat 16,000 cities in a war to do about 12,000 Ghana cities litigation free and a corner but to my treat them assassinate Kennedy monster crowd mumbo home which is assassin also come on Carlo Kwanza so did the move come on free site plan and an indenture for first 50 customers are web assassin edu fast development area a bit of my free forever construction limited that was 0501204040 and now there's 0509999 Two eight forever construction forever yours.